Hi folks, George Hutton here from SC1 Sports. I'm joined today by Conan Dory from Steelstown. We're at Lisfanon Beach of all places, absolutely beautiful. I'm just going to turn it round to Conan here now. How you doing Conan? Not bad George, how are you? Can't complain, nice to be at the beach. Uh, Conan, just going to ask you a few questions here. One of the first things I want to ask you is obviously after the game yesterday with Moortown, uh, very tough conditions, very heavy pitch and obviously recovery is very important. Do you have any advice that you can offer for players out there? Um, I think first and foremost is just get loads of food on me. doesn't matter what you eat, when you eat it, there's nothing bad to eat after a match. What I would always take is a pizza, loads of carbs, loads of sugars, loads of volume on it. Just make sure you're eating something, replenish all the energy that you have used. I think the day after a match, it's very important just to get up off your ass and do something. I mean, like we're down to the beach here today, I mean, I, I'm trying to get down to the beach as much as possible because, first and foremost, I, I love it and it gives me a bit of motivation to get off my ass, even if it's just walking around. It's just, it, it is great just to get the legs moving again. I think if I had been sitting around today, my legs are very stiff. It was a cold day yesterday, it was sort of tough pitch to play on. So if I had sat around today, I would have paid for it in training the next day. I think as well, um, taking a wee dip in ocean is great for recovery. Um, not so much because of the whole cold water thing, I know people go into the ice bath a bit a lot, but I think from a psychological point of view anyway, this is what I've always done. So I think if that's what I've always done, keep doing it. Like if something works for you, then it doesn't matter if it's scientifically right or not, just keep doing it. Plus as well, when you're out there, you're using muscles that you probably wouldn't use before, so it's great to sort of get that recovery station under the belt. Excellent, and uh, just coming back to what you were saying there, would you come to the beach often? Yeah, well, I've been doing my training stations down here, my individual training stations. Um, we're trying to develop a bit more speed, a bit more leg power, so I think the sand, the sort of softer sand is great. It's sort of obviously a softer surface than what you'd be used to playing. Playing Gaelic football, but I'm um, doing a lot of runs on it, a lot of uh, squats, squat jumps. Just sort of things to get the power going on the legs. i um, sort of doing a lot of running as well in the shallow water, across the water, because I think it sort of helped me lift my knees up. It's helped my stride get longer. I think this whole sort of beach setup, the sort of training I'm doing around here, it's short, it's snappy, but it's developing a lot more lower body power and strength that I don't think I had before. Excellent. And I suppose yesterday, first game of the season, how did you find it against Moortown? Obviously tough conditions, but how did you find your first run out? Yeah, well, as you said, it was a um, tough, tough pitch to play on. Like, it's very sort of soft. Well, actually, some parts are very hard as well, so it was actually sort of risky enough somebody got an ankle injury there. But um, no, I think it's just great to play football again. Um, I think it doesn't matter how much training you do. You could train for 12 months, and if you don't play any matches, you're not going to be match fit. Match is the only way to get fit. Um, like trying to get up to that intensity again of playing a match is the only way that you can prepare for a competition, so it's great to be playing again. Yeah. Excellent. And Conan, there's a lot of young players that are making the breakthrough from minor football and the senior football. Is there anyone in particular that stood out for you yesterday or maybe in training and, and <clears throat> matches? There's loads. Um, coming through the club, like you know, coaching on the raids and stuff, you can see the talents coming through and it's actually frightening as a senior player because you know, you know that your days are numbered off in the senior team but um, I think yesterday uh, playing that reserve match there was loads of standout players um, I think we Kieran Flanagan super um, like Jamie Feeney's getting better and better every season you have boys like you know, we were McKeever getting their first run out and other. there's plenty of boys now who's coming and they're sort of showing that they can sort of contribute to the senior panel but um, I think as well in the senior team I, I missed some of the senior game but uh, I heard Shane O'Connor came on took my place and sort of uh, <laughs> I heard he, he grabbed it with both hands but I think that's that's what you should do, be doing um, yeah I remember back in 2008 I hadn't played for the seniors but someone got injured in the first first game of the season as well against Balearn just injured before the match and I was called on just and sort of that's that's where you get your chances everyone will get their chances at some stage I hear like Shane O'Connor's grabbing her as well now, like, so that's great to see excellent and final question Conan what are your personal ambitions for the season um, well, personal ambitions first and foremost is always to try and nail down a, a place in the team, but you know, it gets harder and harder every year. So, what I do always set out to do rather than having a starting place is just try and contribute something to the team. I always take it as it comes, just to always think I see the standard around the, the club. I see boys like Niall Murray getting better and better, so you just sort of think, well, maybe if I can come on as an impact sub or something, you just, just start there, start small after a while, then. You start progressing. It's, from a personal point of view, yeah, I would never think past 
getting on as a team. Um, mm -hmm. Like from a team point of view, I think we've got a great team. Like you start looking through that Derry squad at the moment, and you know, uh, uh, the risk of this going out any further in Steve Town, it's, mm -hmm. it's not great. Mm -hmm. um, there's loads of players. I was naming five already. Boys like Aidan Cleary, boys like Tony Ling, Steve's obviously away, Murray Dunn. Like, those are why Paul Hay need to These boys should be on the Derry team. Like, do I think um, with that sort of talent? And we should definitely be thinking we're staying up and maybe progressing all from there. That's fantastic, Conan. It's been an absolute pleasure chatting to you. No worries, George. And as always, that's a wrap, folks.